I want to show you how to use the calendar in Ingrade. I have logged into my student account on Ingrade and I'm choosing Geometry A. And then I'm going to go to the calendar and show you the different things that you can find on the calendar. On Thursday, I told students that uh, there will be a quiz on Tuesday, as there always is, on Tuesday the 18th. So I posted on Thursday's date the quiz practice for Tuesday because it'll be too late to do it on Tuesday, obviously. Okay, so you can go to quiz practice. Um, the quiz, it will tell you that the quiz is on page 22 in your book. Students are not required to do this practice quiz unless the parents require it. I will not be taking it up for a grade. It will not be given for extra credit. This is purely for students to practice and study. My suggestion is that they do the practice quiz at the bottom of page 22. And then also on the calendar, I have posted the quiz answers. If I click on that, you'll see them, so I won't tell them to you or show them to you. But you can pull that up and check your answers, and that way you'll know if you're ready. If you had a lot of mistakes, then you might want to go to the quiz practice video. And that's listed on where it says quiz practice. And what you'll want to do is click at the end of that link and hold down your mouse button until you get to the front end of that. And then right click in the highlighted area and press copy. And then you'll want to press uh, open another tab so that you'll have a window to work in. Copy it into the address, press enter, and it will pull you up into the video that I made. And you can press the triangle, it will play. You can make it larger, you can see how long the video is. This will make it larger and it will tell you how to sketch it and I don't want it to continue so I will stop it. Oops. Press escape to get out of the large screen. Escape is ESC on your keyboard. And now I'm going to shut it down. Oh, you can also, I should have told you that, you can also pause it. Well, that's a good thing to show you. <clears throat> As it's playing, you can pause it. You can move forward. If you miss something and you want to back up, you can slide it backwards and begin playing again. And if you can't find the video you're looking for, you can press on my name and it will bring up the videos that I have made public so that you can look at all that. I only have four up there right now. As you can see, I can tell if the video has been being viewed, but I can't tell who's viewed it. Okay, going back to the calendar. I also have placed on Thursday the PDFs that you can use for class on Thursday. So if you want to go back and look at the notes, you can pull those up. And now you have the notes and you can print them as I showed you before. Also, the practice that we will do in class when we can get to it, and if we don't, I'll make videos concerning that. You can open that up. That's going to pull that up in Microsoft Word. And you can print those out for use with videos that I make to help uh, students understand any concepts we couldn't go over in class and to give you extra practice. Okay, let me know if you have any difficulty using these resources. They're there to help your children be successful.